on uh, 150 there when it comes up to university. Mm -hmm. And I remember there was four, I don't know who the two lead cars was, but I was back there with the Champaign County deputy car when we were getting on 74. And then proceeded to the pursuit on to 74 eastbound. Okay. So let me just go back again just to kind of make sure I got everything here. Um, so you first observed the vehicle probably around 9.30 when you were probably going, around nine. going to a call. Mm -hmm. And it, where, where exactly was the vehicle parked at? It was parked on the west west side of... Could you, uh, could you draw it on there? Yeah, I can show you. Okay. All right, let me give you a bigger piece of paper yeah. here. Okay. This is Super Pantry here. Okay. And you got some diagonal parking over here, and then you have some east-west parking spots. Okay. He was parked over here facing facing east. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay, could you... Uh, and then here's... This would be the alley that goes right directly okay, beside Could you label it. that as, as an yeah. alley? And uh, show me which way is north. Okay. So that's... And then... This is Harrison. Okay. And this is the four-way. Okay. And this is Front Street. And this is Sycamore, also 130. There's, there's a uh, bar grill type place here. The four-way or whatever? Yeah, the four-way. Okay. And then there's like a drive to get access off of Sycamore. Uh -huh. We stopped like right here was the initial stop. Okay. And this is the super painter, right? Yeah, here is. Label that. Yeah. If you could just point an arrow to which way he was facing or uh, uh, in front of the car. In front of the car or however. Yep. Okay, so sorry. When like you when you're, when you're coming around, where where did you uh, when you're going back and forth? Where did you? The car was stationary in mm -hmm. the same spot mm -hmm. the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was coming off front, going on second. This is this was my travel when I was dealing with the one call. Okay. Were there any other vehicles in the area in not, the parking lot? Not, not. I mean, there may have been possibly one or two. At, okay. I mean. Not, not really stuck out like this one because not usually many people park over here unless uh -huh. the water is full up here. People usually park up front. Okay. That's why it caught my eye because he was parked all the way over here. Okay. Is there anything else up there? Signs, phones, anything like no, that? No, the only phone is there's a pay phone on the side of Super Pantry on the west side. Um, I did when we were when we were uh, out there on 50 or 74 earlier, we did make contact with uh, the super pantry attendant mm -hmm. to see if anyone suspicious had came in. She and she said the black male fit in the description of the guy did come in. He just put a bunch of coffee creamers in his pocket mm -hmm. and then walked back out to the car. That's all I did. Okay. Um, they have video down there. Yes. Okay. Yes, we are. You ask them to keep that. Well, we can we can ask them. They'll they'll okay. keep it for us. Okay. You know that attendant's name by any chance? I don't know her name. I know her face, but I can I can get it for you. Or... So you drive you're driving by and you. I'm see driving by. Yeah, I, I see him a couple times and mm -hmm. yeah, I see the Texas plate. But the other thing is too, and I'm I'm not trying to be. Uh, prejudice or anything, but we have a lot of Mexicans in our town. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes we get Texas plates in town, 
So I, just, I saw it, I was like, well, I'll take care, I'm taking care of this call. Mm -hmm. I'll see about that if it's still there. Well, it just so happened when I come back, I see the car still sitting there, and then when I went by, that's when I saw that there was someone in it. So I don't know how far, I mean, I was just doing a routine patrol. Mm -hmm. I went down a couple blocks and turned around and came back. That's when I turned in the alley. Which way did you, when you turned in the alley, where you go, which way were you going? I was right? heading west, or I'm sorry, east. East on Harrison, and I turned. So he turned southbound. Yeah, I turned south into the, the alley, and then that's when he was still sitting there. Okay. And then I turned. Did you get the plate? I just got part of the plate. Okay. So that's why I was going to come back around mm -hmm. and see if I couldn't get a better look at it, because he, like I said, the car. I don't know whether the car was running. I didn't have my window down, but okay. there was no lights. I where he was parked at, you could, I couldn't see the first three digits of okay. the plate. Okay. So you went, uh, you continued southbound through the alley. Came up What's here. What's the next street? Jefferson. Jefferson. Which way did you go on Jefferson? I turned right on Jefferson, which would be west. west. Okay. And then went over to Main Street. Okay. And then turned north. Uh huh. Went north on Main up to Harrison again. Okay. Came back out on Harrison. Mm -hmm. When I pulled out on Harrison, then that's when he was pulling out of the super pantry. And then there's a turn lane, middle turn lane here. Okay. And he was signaling and stopped and then was turning north. So okay. I so proceeded, I went ahead and proceeded to go behind him because I was going to get his plate in just to run it. Uh -huh. And then we got no more than right up in here and he just stopped in the middle of the road. Okay. Now how long would you estimate that he was stopped in the middle of the road mm. before you turned your lights on? I gave him a minute. I mean. Okay. And then what'd you do? Call, started calling the stop in, you said? I, I, Hit my emergency lights and called my stop in. Okay. And then when I was, as soon as I hit my lights, then that's when I saw him put it in park. Or I saw it go, the reverse lights come on like he was going up to park. Mm -hmm. And then that's when uh, he was starting to exit his vehicle. Okay. Um, what kind of car do you drive? Uh, 2006 Crown Vic. Okay, is it fully marked yes. with uh, overhead lights and yes. audible siren? Yes. And it says Villa Grove Police Department on the yes. outside. What color is it? White. Okay. And you're wearing, obviously, a police uniform with American yes, flag. Just, and this, this, this is what you were wearing at the time that this happened, correct? Yes, yes it was. Okay. And you identified, when you opened your door, you identified, did you identify yourself to him as a police officer? Mm-hmm. Okay. I said, Velgro Police Department, why did you stop in front of me? Okay. And what did he say then? That's when he said, I thought I knew you. Okay. And like I said, he had the eyes bugging out, and he was just, what, you know, it's just one of those deals. I didn't feel comfortable about it mm -hmm. to begin with, and he was just, he wasn't giving off a good vibe okay. from the get-go, especially when he had exited the vehicle and started walking back to my squad. Mm -hmm. Um. Is he speaking clear English? Is any accent or grove? I didn't really notice much of an accent. Did you ever get his driver's license? No. No, okay. I never got an ID. Okay. So he, you told him you needed, he kept putting his hands in his pockets, and you had indicated that you, you felt that he had lunged towards you. Can you describe that again for me? Yeah, he put his hands in his pockets. And it was kind of like that. Well, okay. What's your distance between you and Then you? it was probably, probably about like, yeah, we can use me, so. Okay, you're him. It's probably about like right here. Okay. Like that, and then, you know, and then when he punched, you know, we get closer. That's when I grabbed my taser and said, you need to stand back. So our distance is about, what, three feet? Right, three, three to four feet. And then he's, is he wearing, his hands are in his pocket, his pants pocket, or is he wearing a coat? He, it, it, he was keeping them in his coat, his, that, I remember he had a big, thick, like a velvet felt type coat, and he kept putting his hands in his front pockets there, so. Um, what else was he wearing? I remember the blue jeans. Okay. I didn't see as far as what he had on underneath. Okay. All right. Um. He, so you, you asked him, why did you stop? And he said, I thought I knew you. And then and he mentioned I, that he talked something about, I felt we had a connection or something I go, like that. I go, 
when I, you know, I said, Miller Grove Police Department, why did you stop in front of me? Mm -hmm. And he said, I thought I knew you. I said, okay, but why did you stop in front of me? He said, I felt we had a connection. This is how he did it. Mm -hmm. and, okay. uh, Were you able to get up and look in the, in the car at all? Or? No, the closest I ever got to the car was when he went to the car and I tried to stop him and he showed me back and I didn't get a good look inside it to see what all was, okay. if there was anything visible at the time. Okay. So when he puts his hands on you, is his back toward you or how does he it was like do that? He was, it was like this. You know, he was getting in the car just wanting to get away, you know, just wanting to get away. It was like that is how he pushed me away. And then just the one time he pushes you away, mm -hmm. and then the sequence is he's he's trying, I'm tr and then I go to grab the door, and he gets the door shut on me. Okay. That's when I grab my baton and try to knock out the window to get to him, and, and of course it didn't break. And then is he saying anything else to you at that time, or that you remember? No, I don't remember anything said. So that's after he said, I felt we had a connection. What what happened from that point on, right right there? I said you need to get your I need to see your ID. Okay. And then he proceeded and he kept putting his hands in his pockets. And then that's when he started the lunging. And I said, you need, you know that's when I pulled the taser out. And I said you need to get your hands out of your pockets. But where is your ID? And then he's like, he was, he never would say much. He was just kind of. It's better when I do it. Mm, that's all right. He just, he was kind of like this, you know, just kind of lunging around a little bit. And then he'd do that again. And of course I got the taser up on him. I was like, you need to keep your hands out of your pockets. Where's your ID? And then he did it that last time. And then it was almost, he kind of like said, fuck this. And then went over towards his car. That's when I holstered back and went after him. Is that what, is that what he said or kind of like that? It was kind of like that. It, it, kind of, it, it was a mumble more, but it, it, it sounded like that's what he said. So he never really directly responded to any of your commands? No, he would never... Or questions? Mm -hmm. So he mumbled something like, fuck it, and yeah. then, and then gets in his, starts to get in his car. Mm -hmm. And that's when you tried to hold the door open? or, or I, He was going over, to, he opened up his door, and I tried to grab it. To get to him, and that's when he pushed me away and got the door shut on me. Did he push the door open, or did he just push you away? He pushed me away. Okay. Okay, so he gets the door closed? Yeah, he got the door closed. That's when you pulled your baton out and trying to break the window. Mm-hmm. Are you giving him any commands at that time or saying anything to him? I was telling him, stop, stop. No. What happened next? And then that's when he put it back, he put it in drive and proceeded to go forward. And like I said, I called my dispatch and advised them that I was going to need assistance. And that's when I looked up and I saw he stopped like 10 to 15 feet ahead of me. And then next thing I know, he's putting it in reverse and he's coming back toward me at a pretty fast pace. And I was starting to run back towards my squad. And then all at once he stopped again. And, and then he dropped it back down and drive and went forward. 